Good afternoon, Paul and Hargov. It's Thursday, the 27th of April. Here's the heads of brief for today. For the Southeast Asia production, we covered 12 issues. In North Asia, we covered six. And for Australasia and the Pacific Islands, we also covered six. In South Asia, we covered 15 issues, plus the major issues in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. In Papua and Indonesia, a number of religious leaders have urged authorities to take action against the acting regent of Mimikpa, who is accused of embezzling money from a plane and helicopter acquisition uh, deal. They have also questioned why authorities were not arresting and investigating him, unlike uh, former Papua governor Lucas Nembe, who has been charged by the Corruption and Eradication Commission. Well, of course, that depends on how you perceive wrong, right? If you perceive that Lucas Nembe is indeed responsible, as accused from Jakarta, of contributing funds to the TPNPB, then you want to get him. But if it's another chap that is actually perceived of helping share money in the spoils, then there's no real issue. Of course, what it says in the Quran is certain things you can't do, but some of those things are ignored. Corruption's okay if you're making money from it. It's like the uh, criminal code that was passed last year. When's that come into effect? Uh, 2025, is it? Yes, Paul. Okay, so, you know, people that are now going to go to Philippines and Thailand because they've been living in a de facto relationship for 25 years don't want to go to jail because a corrupt system in Jakarta wants to imprison them for not living by the values, which are totally hypocritical. So the people in the centre of Jakarta are law unto themselves. They make laws to suit themselves. The victims are the people that run the tourist centres and own the tourist centres. So the little proprietors in Bali and in surf resorts in Sumatra, they're the big losers, not the guys that can turn a blind eye on what it says in the in the Quran pertaining to corruption, but then wants to drill in on sexual morality. So, I mean, this hypocrisy is what it always is. So interesting that the Papuans are making a stance on the religious leaders. Um, it's good and noble that they are, but it's going to fall on deaf ears. Thank you. Great. In Papua New Guinea, authorities have imposed a curfew in West New Britain for two months because of the unrest there in the last week. A liquor ban is also in place and the Assembly of People is prohibited. Is this all spinning off from the escaped prisoners and the extrajudicial killings of them as they find them? Is that basically what's sparking all that? Yes, Paul. There have been a lot of uh, there has been a lot of riots in the community after some of the prisoners were killed. That's what you Okay, thank you. Just talking to your microphone, it's hard to pick you up a bit there, mate. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, in Myanmar, since the military takeover in 2021, a new report has found that there has been a significant increase in illegal mining of jade, gold, and rare earth minerals. Yeah, look, it's interesting that because the WA State Army, which obviously has the most powerful special autonomy in the country, they've frozen tin mining for that reason and making sure that they protect their resources for their people. And, of course, even the central government of Myanmar, which is, of course, now the central military as well as actually understands that the WA State Army is a state to itself in terms of even, even the central military don't want to challenge why state authority so they've got an autonomy one of the things they're doing with it is trying to protect the environment and though they're listed on the on the global narcos list they're actually doing some great stuff to protect the environment and some great stuff to protect their own resources very interesting thanks for that update great moving over to south asia 10 security forces were killed in bastar and chattisgarh in india in the deadliest Maoist attack since 2021. Uh, this is as there have been increased security drives in the area since January. So the ugly left-wing violence races, rate, race its head again. Uh, now, you need to know that those who were killed were from the District Reserve Guard. And those are uh, the people recruited from the tribes as well as the local population at the district level. Now, this is important because the Naxals have chosen to target them instead of the central paramilitary forces deployed in uh, the region. 
So th let's say is they're trying to hit the low hanging fruit rather than uh, rather than target those who really hold power. Uh, at the same time, uh, a, a point to note here is that the state government is uh, formed by the Congress party and the central government being led by the BJP. Uh, they may try to milk this for political reasons for the next state level elections because the state loan order falls under the state government led by the opposition party. Right. And in Bangladesh, one person was killed and over 25 people were injured in Silhat Division as two groups fought to establish supremacy in an, in, in an area. Now we've been seeing an, we've been seeing an increase in turf wars um, ahead of the upcoming elections. I wouldn't expect anything less given the state of political spectrum across Bangladesh. Now that the political tensions have heated up before the elections, such clashes are likely to increase uh, before the elections. Uh, hopefully the, the the police forces as well as the paramilitary can control this beyond a certain point. Great. Uh, moving over to Europe, Middle East and Africa. Xi Jinping spoke to Ukrainian President Zelensky for the first time since the Russian invasion yesterday. China said that it will spend special representatives to Ukraine to hold talks with all parties for peace. Uh, that's an interesting development. Thanks. Germany's security agency designated the youth wing of the far-right Alternative for Germany party as an extremist entity. Uh, they also similarly designated two other extremist groups. This is under the broader crackdown on far-right elements in the last two years. That may sound like a proactive approach from the German authorities, but they need to be careful. Uh, such an overdrive may actually lead to more recruitment among the right-wing uh, right groups. So uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on uh, on these activities and see if, uh, see if this is getting worse or not, uh, especially as G Germany uh, has uh, opened their doors to a lot of migrants in the last year or so, in fact, last decade. So th this will have a direct impact on that. Great. And lastly, tensions between Armenia and Azerbaijan are increasing again. Azerbaijan has blocked the only land route that links the disputed Karabakh region to Armenia. There is fears that there could be uh, an open conflict again soon. We'll have to track this issue closely. Uh, the tensions are coming back up in the region, and we'll have to look at the regional powers as well. Uh, where do they stand? Especially now that Turkey is looking at elections, Erdogan may actually uh, amp up the tensions and claim to secure their ethnic uh, Turkish brethren in uh, Azerbaijan. So this may actually inflame the tensions. So we'll have to track this closely there. Great. Thanks. That's the brief. Anything else from yeah. this one, Margaret? Yeah. yeah, I think we need to keep a really close eye on America's desire for the Ukraine-Russia conflict to continue and their desire to push Russia up and brink that they're all standing on in Taiwan. I think if there's a quest for war by the world's greatest hegemonic power and the world's richest nation, regardless of the PR pumping and blaming it all on everybody else. We need to keep that consideration because all these geopolitical issues at the regional and even the border areas, um, regardless of the local state within that border regions, the greater issue is going to drive a lot of these conflicts. So keep a really close eye on that, as Bargav said. Thanks all day. Thank you, Bargav. Greatly appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks.